హలో కిడ్స్ శుభమంగళం దిస్ ఇస్ హేమలత ఐ టీ జెన్ స్కాలర్ హై స్కూల్ చిల్డ్రన్ టుడే అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ రిలేటెడ్ టు బాడీ పార్ట్స్ ఓకే టుడే అవర్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ రిలేటెడ్ టు బాడీ పార్ట్స్ నా ఎస్ యూ నో వాట్ ఈజ్ ఎ బాడీ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇస్ ద ఫిజికల్ ఫార్మ్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ బాడీ ఈస్ ద ఫిజికల్ ఫార్మ్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ now whenever we talk about the body the body is having different parts isn't it and now all the parts are very important all the parts are very important because all the parts have different functions to do that means they have different actions to do isn't it now for example you are walking with your legs and you are writing with your hands isn't it you are not walking with your hands you are not writing with your hands isn't it that means every body part has its own function to be performed okay so don't you think it is really important to discuss the parts of the body yes so today we shall discuss about the body parts okay children so we shall first start with the head portion okay this is the head portion this is the body the and it is a uh, first part we shall start with the head now whenever we talk with the head what is the first part we have discussing it is the hair okay all of you know that we have the hair isn't it that the hair is black in color okay so the hair is black in color okay now the next part of the body is the forehead this part of the body okay this part of the face this is a face okay this entire is called as a face and this part is called as a forehead this is called as head where we have the hair okay on the head we have the hair and the hair is black in color then we have the forehead then we have the forehead this is called as forehead okay this is called as forehead okay now the sides of the forehead this parts okay this part the sides of the forehead is called temples okay the sides of the forehead is called temples okay then let us now talk about the other part that is eyebrows okay you can see the hair here also okay you can see the hair here so that is called as eyebrows okay children then the next part is the eye what is the function of the eye children eyes how many eyes we have we have two eyes how many eyes we have we have two eyes and eyes will help in the vision that is to see eyes help in what children see there are many things around us with the different colors we are able to see all the things we are able to see all the different colors how it is possible it is because of the eyes so eyes help us to see they help in the vision okay sight uh, that is the sight okay vision or uh, able to see or sight so eyes help in the vision or to see now you should always remember that you should protect your eyes children eyes are very delicate okay they are very delicate okay they are very delicate so you need to protect your eyes you should see that you will not cause any damage to the eyes be wherever you are going whatever work you are doing you should be careful that eyes have the protection i should always get protected okay children then we have eyelashes eyelashes is this part of the eye okay these are called eyelashes okay the eyelashes will close the eye okay whenever you sleep you close your eyes that is your eyelashes are closing the eyeballs okay so first thing you remember that eyes help in the vision you should be careful with your eyes okay then the next one is the ears the next one is the ears what are the functions of the ears what is the function of the ear yes ear help us to hear many things ear help us to listen many things we have different sounds the sound of a uh, singing the sounds of music the sound of the noise isn't it the sound of the birds the sound of the cooker in your kitchen isn't it the sound of the watch the pendulum when the bell rings isn't it all these are the different sounds 
so we are able to hear we are able to listen with our ears okay children and you should also see that you will not keep any sharp objects in the ear okay you should not keep any sharp objects in the ears because there is it is very delicate and the ear may get spoiled that is the ear may get damaged if you put the sharp objects like pencil like that you should not keep it in the ears always clean your ears with the ear buds always clean the ears with the ear buds but never put any sharp objects in the ears okay then we have the cheeks isn't it chubby cheeks you all children have chubby cheeks isn't it so we have the cheeks then we shall talk about the mouth then we shall talk about the mouth in the mouth what we have children in the mouth we have teeth and the tongue in the mouth we have teeth and the tongue the teeth help to chew the food isn't it the tongue will help to mix the food isn't it we have the teeth we have sharp teeth we have pointed teeth we take different food items isn't it we take some food items which are very soft we take some food items which are little hard we take liquids also so it is uh, the teeth will help in chewing the food the tongue will help the food to mix and to swallow swallow is to, to uh, send the food from the mouth into the stomach okay so the teeth and the tongue will help to chew the food and to swallow the food swallow means the food which is sent from the mouth to into the stomach the food which is sent from the mouth into the stomach that is called as swallowing okay the tongue will help to swallow the food and what does the teeth do children yes the teeth help in chewing the food that means if you are taking big pieces of food that will break into smaller parts the teeth will break the food into smaller parts okay then we have the chin we have the chin this is this part is called as a chin okay this part is called as a chin and we have the jaws the upper jaw and the lower jaw this is called as the lower jaw this is called as the lower jaw and this is the upper jaw the lower jaw will move see whenever we are talking this this is moving isn't it when we talk or when we sing when we talk or when we sing what is happening this jaw is moving so this is called as a jaw this is called as a jaw and this part is called as a chin this part is called as a chin okay then we have the neck then we have the neck okay children then we have the shoulders this part is called as shoulders then we have the arms we have the arms or the hands we can say okay the hands then we have the hands now this part is called as elbow okay this part is called as elbow what is this part called that is called as elbow okay now we have the palm this is called as a palm okay now to this palm we have the fingers this is the palm we have the fingers now the hands will help us to do many things to read write to lift the things to carry the things isn't it and at the same time the hand, the fingers will help you to hold the th things for example you are writing how you are able to write because you are able to hold the pencil with your fingers isn't it you are able to hold the pencil with the fingers and then is you are able to write that is the fingers will help you to hold the things and the hands as such which is attached to the shoulder these are called as shoulders okay so these are called as shoulders these are called as elbow this is called as elbow 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 okay then we have the fingers the fingers will help you to hold the things okay children the next we have the stomach stomach the food will go into the stomach when we are taking the food into the mouth from the mouth the food goes into the stomach okay and in the stomach only the food will get 
digested in the stomach what will happen children the food will get digested in the stomach okay and after the food is getting digested it will get absorbed into the blood so whatever the food which is digested we eat the food which contain lot of nutrients isn't it we eat the food which contains lot of nutrients like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals so what does the food contains the food contains carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals so all that after the digestion of the food whatever food we take the food will get digested and after the digestion of the food the food is getting absorbed into the blood okay the food is getting absorbed into the blood and after the absorption only we get the energy after the absorption of the food only we get the energy to do the work okay children so where the food is getting digested the food is getting digested in the stomach okay children yes then we have the legs what is the main uh, work or what is the duty or what is the action of the legs yes the legs help us to walk the legs help us to walk where we walk from one place to another place you walk in your house you walk in the kitchen you walk in a shop wherever you go you walk isn't it so you will we are not just in one place we are able to move from one place to the other place because of the legs only and in the legs we have the ankle toes okay in the legs we also have knee ankle and toes in the legs we have the in the legs what we have we have the knees ankle and the toes okay children so these are the different parts of the body but in these are different parts of the body what we can see outside now tell me one more important part of the body yes we have said the head hair ears eyes nose mouth everything nose nose helps you to watch children the nose helps you to breathe the nose help you to take in the air to give out the we can say whether it is a bad smell or good smell whether it is a pleasant smell or bad odor because of the nose only isn't it we are able to sense the smell we are able to sense the smell because of the nose only isn't it so we have discussed about the hair that is the head ears nose eyes mouth chin hand stomach legs and all but one more important organ that we can see from outside is the skin isn't it the skin is also one of the important organ see the whole body is covered with the skin okay the whole body is covered with the skin isn't it now you know that there are many more important parts inside the body also yes children see we have eyes ears nose hands legs all are important but inside the body also we have some organs we have some organs we have some parts inside the body also now in the head we have brain isn't it in the head what inside the head what we have children inside the head we have the brain and it is very delicate and it is very important whatever we talk whatever we remember the things whatever the studies we do we all remember the things isn't it that is because of the brain only so that is the reason we said we should do exercises we should do yoga so that the brain works fast so here what we have inside the head we have the brain okay then inside the body we also have lungs what we have lungs lungs help us to take in the air whatever the air we are taking that goes into the lungs okay children whatever the air we are breathing in when we are giving out also we inhale we exhale isn't it we inhale 
we exhale that is we are taking in the air we are giving out the air also then where that air is going it is going into the lungs where it is going it is going into the lungs yes so we have lungs then we have the heart in the body yes all of you know the heartbeat if you keep your hand on the left side you can hear a very sense you can sense a heartbeat the heart is also very important yes if the heart functions only the person can be alive the person can live if the heart functions the blood flows into the heart okay the blood flows into the heart so heart is also a important organ which is present in our body okay then we have the kidneys then what we have children we have the kidneys kidneys help in removing the waste okay the kidneys help in the removing the waste okay kidneys should be function very properly children if kidneys are not functioning properly for a person may get many kinds of diseases okay so see that all the organs whether it is a brain or whether it is a eye whether it is a skin or whether it is a heart or kidneys or lungs all should be taken care so always eat the right diet and always do exercise to keep all your body organs functioning properly okay and in the heart in the body we also have the intestines intestines means where the food goes or after eating the food where it is going into the stomach in the stomach only we have the intestines okay the food will get digested in this intestines only okay whatever the food we are taking the food will get digested in the intestines and the waste material is sent out from the body okay the waste material is sent out from the body and we also have blood in our body inside our body what is there we have blood inside our body the blood will flow to all the organs we said we have kidneys lungs we said heart and all isn't it so the blood will flow to all the body organs okay children and we also have the nerves and the muscles in our body and we have bones so what else we have we have bones nerves and muscles also inside the body you can see the a person doing lot of exercise we can see his muscles okay the muscles have to be very strong it helps you to sense like if, if any for example if you have touched any sharp object you remove your uh, uh, hand a uh, finger or you remove your hand the nerves will help you to do that okay so the blood the nerves the muscles are also present inside the body and we have the bones also see we inside the body all the bones will get attached okay inside our body all the bones are getting attached and it forms a skeletal system okay children so all the bones present in our body are getting attached to each other see you can see the bones you can feel the bones isn't it all these hard bones why see if the hand is hard here we the you can see the bones here also so all these bones are attached and it forms a skeletal system okay children so we have discussed about the parts of the body which we can see in outside and which we can not we cannot see the inside but uh, only um, under some under some machines we can see so we have discussed about the body parts what we can see externally externally means like ears eyes nose and all these are the body parts what we can see from the outside okay and we have certain body parts like brain heart kidneys lung inside our body they all these heart kidneys where are they they are inside our body so make sure that the body is very important to keep and it is should be in a very good condition so always 
take care of all the body parts don't play with uh, sharp objects okay it may damage the skin it may damage your eyes it may damage your uh, ears and all okay so always eat a good food eat a balanced diet and do exercise or yoga and keep your body healthy and free from many diseases okay children thank you